Do you ever wonder what's really going on underwater? Well, in today's video, we're ice fishing for yellow perch using an underwater camera to show us exactly what's going on down there. For bait, we'll be using one of my favorite lures, the best lure to ever hit the market for jumbo perch, the slap grabber. It comes in all different shapes and sizes, and today we're using the silver with dark red bead. If the fish ever got bored of the slab grabber, I would switch it up to a prototype Nishine Gobi jig head paired with an outdoor junkie power minnow with some great results and some of our biggest fish of the day caught on that. This video wasn't sponsored, I'm just telling you straight up, these baits have the Happy Go Fishing stamp of approval. We got some really interesting underwater shots as well as a bunch of live sonar footage, and not only was this a crazy day for catching big perch, but we both got a big surprise catch at the end. Oh, oh well, that mark's definitely good. Oh, yeah. that's a big, big fish. And oh, he's gonna get it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's a big fish, eh? There he is in the live scope, kind of. He made so much pressure on him. Okay, before we get too ahead of ourselves, you need to know it's the end of March, which means it's officially spring. We started fishing around 8 a.m. and fished outside to make sure we were on the fish before we got fully set up. It started to snow, and based on our pile of fish, I'd say we were on the spot, so we set up the hut, and I figured now is a good time to introduce us to. I'm Talon, the creator of this channel and full-time fishing guide on Lake Simcoe. This is my good buddy Matt, owner and operator of Outdoor Junkie Guide Services. But that's enough about us. Let's get back underwater because there are some absolute giant perch swimming around down there. This would be a good time to grab a snack, grab a fun drink, or whatever you need to help you stay focused on one thing for the next 10 minutes. This is some of the best underwater footage I've ever captured. I wish the water was a little more clear, but murky water this time of year can be expected when everything including the lake is melting. So get comfortable, enjoy the video, because we're just getting started. Yeah, he really, he just turned down the white, eh? Big time. There's another big one right under me, too. It's not quite good. This is a nice one. Yeah? Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Good grief. It's a good Did fish. It? It's still, yeah, it's like an 11 and a half. So happy for me. Shout out to him for taking me out. Thanks again, man. Check out this one fish over here. Executes a perfect sneak attack on me, probably because it knew I was on the phone. Oh, feels heavy, whatever that is. <laughs> Is that the mark that you're talking I about? I think so, but it was weird. It was built up with like three other the perch. Marks. Big perch. Oh! I was gonna say biggest of the day, but I looked down, man. There's a couple Not of Not the biggest of the day, but a big one, for sure. Oh yeah. There we go. He doesn't feel that good. He looked big on the screen, though. Not bad. Ooh, good fish. My happiest one of the day, I think. Nah, I think you got a bigger one. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just been a while, okay? It's been a yeah. while. Okay, I thought this was pretty funny and interesting that every time we caught a small fish and released it, I guess they would go temporarily snow blind and you would see them go crashing into the bottom. Tiny! And this happened more than once. And even the other fish were confused by this and would come over to check up on their friend, which I thought was adorable. And now I know what you're thinking. Don't worry, they would eventually pop up out of the grass and they were just fine. Now this guy on the other hand still had a face full of mud and I'm pretty sure this fish was mad going around telling the other fish not to bite anymore because after that, the rest of the fish seemed to be on high alert and the bite got a bit funky after that. Lots going on down there, but definitely getting less bites. But then this one gets it, but not without missing it first. Yep, finally. Good job. Had to do that half heartedly, you know? Wasn't sure. <laughs> it wasn't sure. Feels really good. Yeah? Nice. Ah, sorry. Chunky. Here you go. And then watch this fish. It didn't even really bite it. And 
then same with this one. Then watch how fast this fish comes in, but then how soft it bites. I'll show you what it looked like on the live sonar. Not often. Not too much. See that guy on the left? You couldn't swallow those. And... Watch this one. He's gonna get smoke. You want the smoke? Here's the smoke. Here you go. Ready? Oh. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> and this next bite is crazy, and it shows you just how gently they can bite the lure sometimes, and without the right gear, you wouldn't even know you had a bite. That was a weird one. It's a good fish, too. Yeah? Yeah. Same as yours, I think. Nice. They came in together. Chunky. Look, Look at that camera. thing. Yep. It's like almost like a bass. Look at that. That's Ooh. a good fish. Here looks like we got a rock bass that joined the party, but didn't have enough courage to make the first move and missed out on a meal. You got him, finally. Where'd the other one go? He's got to be big. Let's see. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Man, I missed him twice. Like, good bites, dude. Loser. There was two of them there. Bingo! I let him have that fish. This fish was super sussed out. It was really interested, but just knew better and declined the slab grabber. I knew it was time to drop the Nishine Power Minnow combo, and the fish were all over it right away. It was really cool to watch them fight for it and dig through the grass to eat it. Check this out. Good. You look good the whole time. Yeah. Double. I think yours is gonna win. <laughs> look at them coming in on the left right now. See them all up there? It's a good fish. On the knee shine. Get in. So this is a good tip to keep in mind for most species for any time of year. If you're out there and having a good day and the bite slows down, make sure you aren't being stubborn and keep showing them the same bait over and over. Switch it up because showing them a new lure can trigger strikes you would have never gotten. And no matter how slow the bite gets, never lose focus because you never know when a big fish will roll through. I don't know if that's a good one on my lure or if it's just a small one. What's your thoughts on that, Mark? Uh, oh, oh, that mark's definitely good. Oh, that's a big, big fish. And that is pikey. That's a pike. No. It is. I think it's a big jumbo. No, it's not. Oh, uh, he's pulling drag. It's a pike. I've seen all the perch Ah! Uh, oh, that's on your lure. Oh, yeah. perfect. Great. Come on, be a walleye. I think it's a bass. Be a walleye, come on. It scared all the perch away, that's how I was calling pike, but really? maybe it's not a pike, bro. The shape was all wrong. He's on my side. Yeah. Okay. Doc, can he go over here? He's over there, yeah. I don't see nothing. He's straight your way. I got nothing yet. Bro, he's kind of active. Got my leader. Better not be a smallie. Got my leader. Yeah, oh. that's the size we're used to out here. Not what we're looking for. Damn. Big enough to scare the perch away. Yeah. Like, I think it'd eat a jumbo, no problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a pike up there. Where? Right up high. Get up there, get up there. Oh, come on, baby. Get that slab grabber down there. What is that? That's not a pike. What is that? That's a pike. All these perch are blind. What are you? Yeah. Come Looks on, pretty him, pikey to me. Oh, he's going to get it. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I'll get it out of there. See, that's a big fish, eh? Yeah. It's not a little pike at all if it is one. Alright. You just kissed it, dude. We're gonna lose it. Matt hooked up to something large. Large and in charge. We got a nice box of fish. 
Can we see anything down the hall? He's gonna take off. Uh, did you see him? No, didn't see nothing. Dude, there he is on the live scope. Kind of. Keeping so much pressure on him because he's so funny. The purse didn't mind the pipe was down there. Oh, he's a good fish. Not bad. Five pounds or something. Oh my goodness. Get up here. Oh yeah, you better get your bait back. No! Oh! Wicked. <laughs> he could have it. Why'd you grab the line like that? Because I was hoping to grab him by the head real quick. I thought the line was out of his mouth. Because uh. I could see the swivel. <laughs> Yeah. But I thought I was in the clear. It was a rookie move for sure. But I thought I could see. I'm leaving that in. We were thinking about going home, but the fish actually had other plans for us. There's a huge jumbo down there. He's cruising on the left. See him? He's going time to move at a good time. Going by. We're dropping on at the end of the day? Yep. Nice. Oh boy, that's our 50. <laughs> I'd laugh if we had exactly 50. Yeah. We actually had 51. No fish were harmed in the making of this video. All the fish we kept will be dinner in the next couple of weeks. And it's time to start thinking about spring crappie. And if that's something you're into, check out this video right here where I caught a three pounder. Thanks for watching. Peace.